I think every year is different. I've been now 11 years post bone marrow transplant in February. So February 2nd of 2011 was my bone marrow transplant anniversary. And every year is just a monument. We celebrate every day, we celebrate every second. So for me, I think every thon has a special place in my heart, whether it was the first one in 2008, whether it was the senior year when I uh, was on the executive committee, or whether it was the, dance, the year I danced in 2016, or now in 2020 being back in the BJC. They're all monumental, and they're moments that my family can just cherish me being here. They're moments that my family can celebrate the life that we have and just embrace the students, embrace the families, as well as embrace the university, because ultimately Penn State's the university that saved my life, and I'm fortunate to have the opportunity to receive two degrees from there. So I think that's changed as well throughout the past many years. Initially, it was the dollars that, that provided my family with the support, as well as the nurses and the doctors to give me the best care plan possible. What I think I've learned as throughout the years is that them having the ability and not having to worry about insurance declining things and things like that is so beneficial. And moving forward, I think, you know, Thon saved me is it's saving me to do the next thing. It's saving me to have the next birthday. It's saving me to have that marriage. It's saving me to do all these little things along the way. But also what it's doing is it's allowing me to financially go to college. It allowed me to financially, you know, eventually buy a house one day. And some families don't have that, uh, that ability because of the cancer treatment. And really, you know, Thon is my home. It, it, it allowed me to find friends that I can, you know, forever. Julie and I, my fiance and I met through Thon. Uh, you know, it, it's just been such a special event, a special organization, and I've received more than they could have ever given me. Thon means so many things to me. Like, I started getting more, most involved in Thon my sophomore year. I was on a DR committee my sophomore year, and then um, I went to live at Hershey for the nursing program my junior year, and then came back senior year and did a DR committee that year. That's actually the year we met. Um, we were on overlapping. Um, he was the captain of the overlapping committee, um, so we kind of met through that after Thon. Um, and Thon basically defined my Penn State experience, so that's probably one of the, you know, just like the biggest things I think of when I think about my time at Penn State. And then, um, of course, like you said, like how could I, how could Thon not mean so much to me when? Basically, they, you know, Thon and Four Diamonds like saved the love of my life, and that's the reason like he's here, and we were able to meet and start a life together. So, has such a special spot in my heart, and I'll always love Thon. Um, and it's been really nice being that Brady works for Four Diamonds to be able to come back um, as an alum and get the opportunity to still come and experience it um, as a alum, which is really nice. We met through one of the committees that I was a part of. I was a captain, and she was a committee member, and. You know, we, we had a mutual connection, obviously, through giving back to Thon and Four Diamonds. And, you know, that, that was obviously a special place in my family's heart. And, you know, the previous year was the year I danced, so the Thon saved me shirt and, you know, allowed me to kind of find that next hump and, and get over to the next adventure in life, I, I guess you can say. And with that, obviously, now we're, you know, we're going to get married and, and things like that. And it's just incredible that the organization can bring together people from all different backgrounds and give them the chance to fall in love or give them the chance to just be together in different aspects. It is incredible. Um, obviously, learning Brady's story and like, I wasn't with him during that time, the treatment, but hearing about it after the fact and um, basically seeing all that he can do now to make a difference and that he's come full circle is the reason, you know, that they're so helpful, basically. Um, and being a nurse, I actually work in a PICU right now. And um, although it's not at Hershey, we do see a lot of pediatric hematology, oncology kids. And um, not every hospital has four diamonds and the ability to have like all of their bills covered is just incredible. And really seeing other hospitals and how they operate, like it's not necessarily a given that that's the financial piece is covered and taken care of. So. That's just amazing, and um, we've, I've lost a lot of close patients this past year to um, pediatric cancer, unfortunately, and so thinking of all of them this weekend, and each day I feel like we're making more progress, so hopefully we won't have those losses anymore someday. It's a relief. There's obviously a lot of emotions going through the family's head. I was eight years old when I was diagnosed the first time, and the only association I had with cancer was losing my hair. There really wasn't a thought of death ever within my family. There was always the thought of hope. And 
through Four Diamonds, that's the biggest thing they provide is hope. And the hospital at Penn State Health Children's Hospital is top one in the world, uh, in my opinion. It's, it's such an incredible place to be. And the nurses, the doctors, the care providers are incredible. So having that extra support always there is meaning beyond words.